us city volunteers around the world organize year-end blessing ceremonies in their countries of residence. Participants of different ethnicities and religious beliefs have seized opportunities to pray for a blissful new year. Let's first take a look at how residents of the Great Love Village in Palo, the Philippines, seize the occasion to express their gratitude. <laughs> A year after Great Love Village in Palo was built, <laughs> city volunteers have come to hold the year and blessing ceremony here. First bow, second bow, third bow. On the day of the ceremony, the weather is not favorable. Nevertheless, the volunteers drive a Fred vehicle to the site, which serves as a stage for participants to share their experiences. To us today, it's quite special because we have been living here for a year. We want to thank Siji for helping the less fortunate people. We also want to contribute to society even if that means making a small donation. Having built new homes for these residents struck by Typhoon Haiyan, such volunteers will continue to bring them love and care. Meanwhile, the year and blessing ceremony organized by Tsuji volunteers in Shenzhen attracts a lot of community residents who have come to pray for a special cause. A lot of disasters have happened in Shenzhen recently. We want to pray for the people in the disaster areas. In addition to community residents, members of Blue Sky Rescue, who have been rescuing the victims of the Shenzhen landslide disaster, have also come. We are very grateful to the Zizi brothers and sisters who made 500 breakfasts and delivered them to the front line by 7 o'clock the next day. To show their gratitude, the rescuers present a silk banner to city volunteers. We have carried out different rescue missions for several years, and this one has been the most impressive one. As these rescue heroes commended city volunteers for their humanitarian spirit, they have also inspired all the ceremony participants to contribute to society. <laughs> the year and blessing ceremony organized by the Tsuji Malaysia chapter in Penan, the participants are asked to take part in a problem-solving game, Human Knot, in which they have to untangle the knot without letting go of hands. The team-building game is part of the year and blessing ceremony. During the ceremony, the director's words point out their future direction. We need to apply the master's spirit of frugality to our work. I have faith in you. Sharing the same ideal, these Tsuji staff members embraced the new year with a firm determination to serve the public. those who decide to stay here. I hope they can find jobs and live happily with their families here.